Hello everyone and welcome to my March book haul. It's a pretty big one this month because I've been feeling quite anxious and depressed and stressed and when I don't feel too good I buy stuff to make myself feel better. So there are 20 books in this book haul. Um, I'm hoping I'm not going to make it too long hopefully um, but it may be quite a long video so if you maybe want to get a drink or a snack or something like that then please feel free. So I'm going to start off with some things that aren't books but are certainly book related. They are bookmarks. So this first one is a Hufflepuff official Harry Potter readathon bookmark. I am going to be taking part in the official Harry Potter readathon which starts I think mid-May and it runs until the end of August. I will leave a link to the official um, Twitter for the readathon and also the Etsy shop where you can get your own official Harry Potter readathon Hogwarts house bookmark. So it obviously has your Hogwarts house in your um, house colours on the front and then on the back you can have your name on it and um, hashtag HP readathon 2017. So I'm really excited to be rereading Harry Potter again this year because it has been a few years since I've read it. I also got a couple of bookmarks from my favourite um, bookmark Etsy shop, Bookmarky. I will also link their Etsy shop in the description down below. The first one is this gorgeous Beauty and the Beast one. I loved the new Beauty and the Beast film. I know it has had some criticisms, but I think the general consensus is that it was pretty awesome. Um, so I loved it. It was everything I wanted it to be. And I had to have this bookmark. It's got the really cute um, original animated film poster on the book there and the little um, silver rose charm. And then on the front, it just says, love doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be a true and then on the back it says she warned him not to be deceived by appearances for beauty is found from within and I just thought that was really cute so I just had to have it another bookmark that I got from bookmarky this month is this fantastic beast one and it's just a little nod to the textbook that Newt wrote fantastic beast and where to find them which is there and it's got the little gold kelpie charm there and it's just got pages from the textbook um, there's a bit on gnomes there a bit on the whooper a bit on the kelpie on the back and then some little notes between um, harry ron and hermione there just to um, personalize it and make it a little bit cheeky and i absolutely loved it so again i had to have that now on to the actual books I got this month. So I'm going to start off with some books I got for my Kindle. The first one I've already read and that is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the third and final book in her Shades of Magic trilogy. I read this whole trilogy this month, absolutely loved it, gave all three books five stars, which I don't often do. I will leave a link to my A year -a -thon wrap up video where I talk about my thoughts and feelings on this trilogy as a whole, but this one in particular was brilliant it was epic it was action-packed it was emotional it was magical it was everything you could possibly want from a YA fantasy conclusion it was just brilliant really really loved it Another book I got for my Kindle this month has been getting a lot of hype here on Booktube recently and that is Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna Maguire. As far as I know this is about a school or a centre for wayward children and um, they keep going missing and strange things are happening to them and then when a girl turns up I think she um, decides that she's going to solve this mystery, she's going to find out where these children are going, what's happening to them and things like that. It's only a novella, it's less than 200 pages long so it's not going to take me too long to get through when I get to it which I do hope to be able to do at some point in April. April and I've heard some really really amazing things about it so I'm really excited about this one. So now on to the actual physical books I acquired this month. I got some from um, a few subscription boxes. So this one I got from this month's Book Box Club. I will leave a link to my unboxing video in the description down below. And that is Waking in Time by Angie Stanton. This is a recently released YA time travel book about a boy and a girl starting the same university in totally different time periods. And then I think something happens to bring them together. I did read out the whole blurb in my unboxing video. So if you are interested in this book, then maybe give that video a watch. Another book that I got in a subscription a box this month, I got it in my Illumicrate and that is Winter Song by SJ Jones. I actually read and reviewed this book last month so I will leave a link to my review in the description down below. This is a recently released YA fantasy with goblins in it. It's dark, it's sexy, it's haunting, very twisty turny which I think is the technical term um, and I was really excited to get a physical copy of this for myself because it's an absolutely stunning cover. It's got the white rose on it which is actually my favourite flower. So um, yeah, absolutely adored it. Another book that I got in the Illumicrate this month and I was 
really really excited to see two books in there is this arc of red sister by mark lawrence and i'm actually going to be picking this up later on today um because i do want to get it read and reviewed before the 6th of april which is when it comes out as far as i know this is about a girl who is saved from the gallows by a nun and she is sent to an assassin training camp and that's pretty much all i know that's all i want to know sounds really really awesome very bloodthirsty very action-packed very exciting so yeah i will hopefully be able to finish this and review it before the 6th of april a book that i was sent very kindly directly from its author this month he sent me an email asking if i wanted to read his book he didn't even ask for a review which i was really really happy about um but i will review it when i do eventually read it and that is artifice by eric abikonix i don't know too much about this i did watch the trailer which made me smile and that's one reason why i said yes please send me your book um as far as i know it's a satirical look at the fine art world and that's pretty much all i know um so yeah really excited to be picking this up at some point point another book that I was very kindly sent by the publisher this month and I was so stoked to get a copy of this drop through my door is this absolutely stunning arc of Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor and I know her Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy is hugely popular here on booktube I have all three of those books but I haven't read them um, so I know a lot of people are highly anticipating this because I know she's a massively popular author um, I know this isn't related to her other trilogy but I don't know whether I should read her trilogy before I pick this one up let me know if you have I've read that trilogy if I should maybe um, read that first but I am actually planning on reading and reviewing this at some point in April for you guys I don't know too much about it the back is very vague it just says this is a story of a mysterious city stripped of its name a mythic hero with blood on his hands a young librarian with a singular dream a blue-skinned goddess every bit as perilous as she is imperiled welcome to weep which I think is the name of the city that's pretty much all I know. On the front it says, it was impossible of course, but when did that ever stop any dreamer from dreaming? Which I just love. It just sounds amazing. It's a beautiful, beautiful book. Um, blue spray, spray painted edges, the kind of shimmery goldness on the dragonfly is just gorgeous. So thank you so much to the publisher, Hodder, for sending me this. Really, really um, pleased and honoured that you wanted to send me this. I will obviously get a review up as soon as I can for you guys on this book. Now on to the books that I bought myself this month. So I'm going to start off with some books that I got second hand. One of those is Lover Avenged by J.R. Ward. I think this is either book seven or eight in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series. This is an adult vampire series. I don't really like vampire fiction on the whole. Um, most of what I read, I haven't really enjoyed. I did like Dracula and I did like Stephen King's vampire book, Salem's Lot, but most of the other vampire fiction books I've read, I haven't really enjoyed. But I have heard that this series is really good and I have a few of them now, but I don't think I have the first one, which is why I haven't started it. But when I do eventually get a hold of that, I will maybe um, dive into them and give vampire fiction another go. So yeah. Another book that I got in a charity shop this month is Feed by Mira Grant and I think this is a zombie book and some bloggers who are trying to um, solve the mystery of how this um, zombie virus outbreak occurred and maybe try and eliminate them and things like that. Um, sounds really cool. I know it's been around a long time and I am on a little bit of a horror kick at the moment because I recently finished It by Stephen King, which is just amazing. So look out for my March wrap up for that. But um, yeah, I just wanted to pick it up and see what it was all about. Another book that I got in a charity shop this month is Oryx and Crake by Margaret Atwood. I've read two Margaret Atwood books. I've read The Handmaid's Tale and Alias Grace. Alias Grace I absolutely adored. The Handmaid's Tale I wasn't a massive fan of, which I know a lot of people will sit back and gasp at that. I know they're making a film of it either this year or next year though, so I may reread it, give it another chance before that comes out. But I know the first time I read it, I didn't really get on with it. But this one really intrigued me from the blurb. It says, pigs might not fly, but they're strangely altered. So for that matter are wolves and raccoons. A man once named Jimmy now calls himself Snowman and lives in a tree wrapped in old bed sheets. The voice of Oryx, the woman he loved, teasingly haunts him and the green-eyed children of Craig are for some reason his responsibility. So it sounds really weird. Is it possibly an adult dystopian maybe? Um, but yeah, it really intrigued me. So therefore I picked it up and I will obviously be giving Margaret Atwood another go. So yeah, we'll see how I get on with this one. Another book that I got in a charity shop this month, I was really happy to see there because it's been on my Amazon wish list for ages. And that is A Head Full of Ghosts by Paul Tremblay. This is a horror that came out a few years ago and it's my sort of horror as well. I love the kind of spooky, eerie, ghosty type horror. And it's got some praise there from Stephen King on the front. It says, scared the living hell out of me and I'm pretty hard to scare. So anything that Stephen King likes, I'm going to want to pick up. So yeah, really excited to get into this one at some point. 
So now on to some books I got from either Amazon or Waterstones. So the first one I have already read and that is We Come Apart by Sarah Crossan and Brian Conaghan. This is a recently released YA contemporary written in verse as you can see there and I read it for Read O Rama and really enjoyed it. It's about a girl who is doing some community service because she was caught shoplifting and she meets a boy who has recently emigrated from um, Romania to London and it's just about people's attitudes to immigration, how they change over time. Did not see the ending of this coming at all. It was very um, tear-jerking, emotional, totally threw me for six, did not see it coming, um, but it was just lovely. So if it sounds like your sort of thing, if you like your YA contemporaries with a little bit of a political slant on them, then this is certainly for you. Another book that I bought this month is The Princess Saves Herself in this one by Amanda Lovelace. And I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there going, Alex, don't you already have this book? Yes, I already have this book. But this is the updated, much thicker version. There are new poems in this and I haven't flicked through it yet, but I'm really excited to. And this is the kind of poetry that I will probably post on my Instagram when I um, do get a chance to flick through this because I absolutely loved the original publication. It was one of my favorite reads of last year. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this and read some more of her poetry so yeah another book that I got this month is A Challenge Deep by Neil Shusterman I don't know too much about this book again I know it's about a boy with schizophrenia and I think I read somewhere that it's about either Neil Shusterman's son or nephew or somebody that he actually knows who has schizophrenia and I love mental health books that are about essentially real people and real stories it just gives them a richness that um, mental health books that aren't based on exact truth don't have so yeah I've heard really good things about this and I'm really excited about it and I don't think I've ever read a book about someone with schizophrenia before so yeah really excited to try something new with that as well Another book that I got this month is Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetis and I've heard amazing things about Ruta Sepetis' writing style. I know it's very lyrical, very beautifully written. I know she wrote another book called Between Shades of Grey, I think, which I haven't read but I've heard amazing things about. This won the Goodreads Way Contemporary, um, Best Way Contemporary of 2016 as well, so that was another factor in me picking it up. I will read you the blurb because I know very little about it. War-torn Germany, four young people, four dark secrets. They come from different lands, but each of them is hunted and haunted by tragedy, lies, and war. As thousands of refugees flock to the coast, desperate to escape the advancing Red Army, the paths of four young people converge. All are hoping to board the Wilhelm Gustloff, a ship that promises safety and freedom, yet not all promises can be kept. So it sounds like a very harrowing, educational, emotional World War II book, obviously beautifully written. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. Another book that I got this month is The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. This is the fourth and final book in the Raven Cycle series. I have books one and two um, and now I have book four so I need to get a hold of book three at some point before I can hopefully marathon this series. As far as I know it's a YA fantasy about a girl who is cursed and when she kisses her true love he is doomed to die and there is a group of boys in her neighbourhood called the Raven Boys who she is very intrigued by and that's pretty much all I know. I know it's a really really popular series so I am expecting really good things from it. I think this is probably my favourite cover in the series. It's just absolutely stunning. They're all absolutely gorgeous, but I think this one's probably my favourite. So yeah, when I get a hold of book three, I will hopefully be marathoning this series at some point. Another book that I got this month is Hold Back the Stars by Katie Kahn. I actually originally saw this book in Waterstones and I've read the back and was really, really intrigued by it. And then I thought I can probably get this um, cheaper on Amazon. Went home, saw this hardback for £5 and I thought, yep, I knew it. Um, so I read the back and as I said, I was really intrigued by it. So it says, Karis and Max have 90 minutes of air left. None of this was supposed to happen. Adrift in space with nothing to hold on to but each other. Karis and Max can't help but look back at the world they left behind. A world whose rules they couldn't submit to, a place where they never really belonged, a home they're determined to get back to because they've come too far to lose each other now. So it sounds like a sci-fi romance, reminds me a little bit of Illuminae, which I really enjoyed last year. So yeah, really looking forward to this one. Another book that I got this month, and I actually read this at the end of last year, but it's really, really popular at the moment, and that is Caraval by Stephanie Agarba. I wrote a full review on this as well, so I will leave a link to that review in the description down below. These hardbacks are stunning, which is why I bought it, and they all have different designs on the um, cover there. So I got the one with the rose, which I was really, really happy about because it reminded me of Beauty and the Beast, and I got really excited about that. So essentially, Caraval is about two sisters who are um, obsessed with um, 
this um, once a year live audience participation show called Caravel and they're really excited when they manage to get the opportunity to go one year but um, they realise that they're actually a bigger part of it than they bargained for. It's really really good, really really enjoyed it, very again twisty turny which I really enjoyed so yeah if you haven't picked up Caravel yet I really recommend it. Another book that I got this month, and this has had so much controversy surrounding it here on Booktube and Twitter, and that is Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. This is a sci-fi that I know very little about, but it's had so much criticism and just general buzz around the problems that this deals with and I had to had to read it myself because I can't just take other people's words for it I want to experience it firsthand I want to understand what's causing people so much pain and discomfort and confusion with this book so yeah I'm not going to read it um the blurb I don't want to know anything about the actual story I just want to go into it with all of those things in my head and see what I make of it so yeah and the last book in this haul we're finally there guys is this massive collection of Jane Austen and it's just absolutely stunning. I had a, um, a gift card for Waterstones and whenever I have a gift card I always want to get a book that I know I'm going to keep forever and I saw this and I just had to have it. I don't actually have any um, really lovely physical editions of Jane Austen's books so I got this and now I have them all. It's super super heavy, it's got this gorgeous um, gold edges on the pages like that and it's just absolutely stunning so I had to had to have it and I'm going to put it down now because it's super super heavy and that is it for my March book haul what books did you get this month please let me know I will leave all of my social media in the description down below I know that was a really long video so super super sorry I hope you're having an awesome day and I'll see you very soon for another video bye bye